Hello again, this is the Watering Man. We're still in John chapter 4 verse 38. I'm doing little prequels or whatever little spiritual toolbox shorts. And I have one more pre uh, recorded here. I'm going to call this one um, God's Relationship Builder. Here it goes. Hello again, this is the Watering Man. Now, I'm going to title this one this is God's relationship builder. Now, we're, uh, we're starting uh, uh, John chapter 4, verse 38. I did last time on the first verse. I forgot to read the first verse, but I mean, you can read it yourself. I'll read it right now from the King James Version. I sent you to read that whereon you or ye bestowed no labor. Other men be, uh, labored, and you are entered into their labors. Okay? Now, we're going to go much deeper than that. Okay? I'm just breaking this down as God gives it to me on this. He's, he's speaking to me. Okay? Now, <clears throat> it's like, you know, the breadcrumbs, they drop. You know, drop behind you and stuff, and you, you follow a little uh, trail of breadcrumbs, eating them. Well, that bread is like God, a little bit of God. You know, as you're resonating through the swinging in the storms of your life, making all these decisions in everything you do, good, bad, ugly, it's any storm, God's purifying you. That's why you got to make these decisions. What does a king do? Makes decisions, right? Alright, so as we're going through our lives, to be the right, take uh, come out of this Nebuchadnezzar, this old carnal way of thinking, this red way, the red finger on top, pointing the way, and you're trusting that old me, myself, and I, and your double minded bullshit thinking. Huh? Don't do that. Right? Don't go with it, because it's just like a wrecking ball crashing. You're not resonating with God. You're not going with the flow of the Spirit of God and getting the increase from God. You're trying to do it your way. That's that's going against the re relationship builder of God. Even if you're standing still, I'm not doing nothing. I'm not making a decision. I'll just wait and see whatever God wants. But, but, there's a sense in that you want to not... Oh, you want to do what God says, tells you. But make sure you're not just not uh, neglecting to do what God tells you. You say, well, I don't hear nothing. And you're trying to hear external out here. God may call something. He spoke to what? What was that? Balaam, I think it was. To a dumb ass. Huh? God can speak to you however he wants. Inside, there, there's something inside you calling you out for, for a change all the way down in here. Whether it's down all the way down to like a, a quirk or all the way down. God's calling out in the deepest, 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 way down there to where his string theory, his string, his little lightning bolt is wanting to connect back. Huh? Or any of the things in there God's wanting to do. Can you hear that call to you? Or are you going, well, it's me, you're too busy with this, all this baffling, confusing wind that's going on in the storms of your life in your mind. There might be all kinds of pressures and stuff external, but that kingdom of God, that right, the rule of God, at a higher and higher and higher increasing into the right-mindedness of God, into the rank, your level in God, in His right-mindedness, doesn't come with this outward observation. <clears throat> doesn't come with obeying whatever, you know, those many things are beating me down, I just can't do it. Huh? If God gives you the call to do it, he'll equip you to do it. However, whatever, you know, but if also if he tells you not to do something, and you try to do it, uh-oh. Kind of like I found myself Laying down, on, I mean, I was flat out on the floor. I couldn't even crawl. Couldn't get to my knees. Trying to crawl just maybe 
30 feet or maybe a little bit more to the a door to unlock it. And I was vomiting all over myself. Man, I, I couldn't, I could not move. I couldn't roll over. I couldn't get up. I could I was passing out every little bit. And I don't know how long it took me to get over there. And the paramedics had to take me out on a stretcher. And they still didn't find out what it was. Sent me specialists and stuff. Just wasted. Among that we didn't have. God's teaching to be obedient. Huh? Do you hear me now? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'm getting it now, man. Germinate. Each one of those seeds and start with green light. One light. One to two to four to eight to sixteen. It's got to become a one first. Got to take a, yeah, get your back, your head out of your own ass nature. Your own beast nature down underneath that maneuver field that you're guarding in your mind. Bring that little lightning bolt up. Hmm? Like a cork. Spin up. And if Earth God tells you don't do that, it's been down right here, and it's still held tightly in the nucleus, you better obey. At whatever level, whatever level, these breadcrumbs, that God is like leading you right back into his righteousness, up this spiraling staircase. So you're turning, you're spinning to the right, going up this spiraling staircase. Because you sure don't want to go down. Going against that wrecking ball, a swinging in your life, your life to swing it along, and you can go with the flow of God, and it gets a better, a better swing, right? Keeps you swinging, wee wee. You're just, huh? But that's in God, and that's like a Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They were in the fiery furnace. He looked five times as hot. Party time in there. God was with them. God was right there with them in that storm. And that intense stuff. The ones outside looking in, trying to catch a peek of them in their sins and trespasses or their buffalo briefs or a beast nature. What are you doing wrong in there, boy? You didn't obey a King Nebuchadnezzar, did you? you? Didn't bow down and submit the knee to your own carnal stinking thinking. Huh? What happened to them? They burned up. They died. And they wasn't even in the fire. They just got close to it. <laughs> Killed them. But the, as you're doing it in God, in the first day, first age, second, third, three days, in your your fleshly thinking, in your temple, you got to walk it out, live it out, exist, 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 in God, green light God, put God on top in each and every thought process so that he's stringing it out like spaghettification up that spiraling staircase. In doing this, it's a relationship builder. You're following the bread crimes. Bread speaking of the, the word of God, the thought processes of God. All the way down to the string theory, zap, making it into little balls of God. Pull them out to whichever... Wherever, whatever level, God's putting it all back into the right order in His way. He's dissecting your thinking process. Daki Mato, laying it out there and examine it. Not that it may prove it. You know, maybe it just might work. No. That'd be like leaving doubt in it. Huh? You leave doubt in it, you're not going to re receive nothing. It'd be like stand with that swing going, the swing, the flow of the spirit going to mature you, and then you just like standing there like a big old dummy, standing there, and here comes a wrecking ball, you're swinging, and then you're just standing there like an old building, and pow, it's a busting you, bang, oh, I did it again, boom, you're in like shambles, shortly, it's a busting big hunks out of it. Why is it all? Why is it kick me around? Why was me pain, grief, and suffering? Must be the devil doing it. You're giving some credit. Giving that devil place. It's not. It's not some monster outside you. 
not some monster out here. Put four You're not speaking the love of God in there. You're not honoring God. You're not being in reverence and all. Oh my goodness, you're not bowing the knee to God. Submitting to God. Following eating the, the breadcrumbs that's taking you up the 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 spiraling staircase back into that funnel of correction, back into the right mindedness of God, up that um, pipeline of God, back to the singularity of God, where it's getting denser and denser and denser, right back to God. You're not going home to Daddy God doing that. No matter if you think it's a good way or a bad way, or man, these breadcrumbs are the greatest. It's little drops of poop taking you down into the cesspool of your own carnal poop thinking that's against you, huh? Going too towards an into God, huh? It don't want you to go to God. It don't want you coming out of this stuff. It don't want, it wants, every, it's directly opposed. Oh man, it's hostile to God. Agree with God, let it kill it. Go with God, right hand turn, right hand threads, right hand spin. Righty tighty, you're going up. Huh? And this convection, this dust devil. Whoop! Bring you from that lower Adamic way of thinking up to God's higher way of thinking. Don't go down. Because then you're like, don't go down. Don't sit up. Bop, bop, down. Your stairs. Down that me, myself, and I. Because you're keeping your own poop thinking up there and you're in double mindedness. Because God's not giving up, giving up on you. He's in fire for you. But it's incomplete love. Because you're old. Arrow, your finger of the me, myself, and I way, your good and evil is on top. In the superior thinking process and position in your mind. Like that fraction. And God's still in there. In the tiniest of tiniest of tiniest. One E to the negative 35 thought process. That little lightning bolt. bolt all the way down there to string size. Okay? Like in the string theory. Down there to the size. But it's on fire for you. God loves you beyond the mere description of words. God is faithful. Huh? And you're, uh, you're ignoring it. So you ain't nothing. Calling it evil. No, turn it up right. Partake from God's breadcrumbs that's leading you up that spiraling staircase. You can do it, my child. Disagree with me. Be reasonable. Sit my way. And you'll do it. But it's God that's doing it. You gotta work out your own salvation, your deliverance. On that spiraling staircase. Going in that pipeline. Go up the, the, the dust devil. With God, agree with God. Emphatically in hot percent. Pursuit. <laughs> okay? Now. <clears throat> What level of breadcrumbs are you partaking of throughout your life in all the decisions? Even if something that seems like a neutron doesn't really have no charge at all, no, nothing at all, just, just seems like, well, that don't mean nothing. I'll just take a drink of this coffee here. Or a big drink of this water or eat this. Huh? See, that's external, but whenever you're doing it inside, oh, well, yeah, I ain't really doing nothing wrong. I'm just not telling them all the truth. I'm letting them buy this car cause, uh, or this thing off of me, man. I'm not, uh, I'm, you're really, you're withholding, except you're, you're deceiving. Are you in agreement with God? Huh, don't you got to... You know that, you know, you know, something not right about this. Huh? Oops, do you want to stick that thing in your mouth? You want to stick that foot, your life, your walk, your existence in your mouth? You going to make a stand in it? You going to defend it? You going to be getting defensive? Make a stand in it? Your good ways and your bad ways? 
Like stick your right foot, your left foot in there, and you become pretzelated if you do that. Because you're sticking it like in your own shit, stinking. You're seeing here, you take such a spell, trying to justify it. And when you're justifying, you're just a lying. Like my former pastor used to teach me all the time. Justifying is just a lying. Yeah, that's true. Right? Love it very much. Okay? Don't do that. Don't become an old pretzel in your thinking. Oh my goodness. Pretzel eating yourself. Oh! Swear to made up, but that made it up fits pretty good. <laughs> Alright? Now, <clears throat> so what level of breadcrumbs are you um, partaking of in your life? See, you take it out of them inside in your thinking, inside the Holy of Holies, inside your mind. You're deep, but it's deep, deeper, deepest, all the way down to the strength area. You know, it's like in your mind. You're in your mind, in that same thought process, on down to like the inside the atom, down to the nucleus, down inside the protons and neutrons. Down inside the quarks, or are you going all the way down to the strength there where God's love is really revealing himself that he's a lightning bolt for you. <coughs> and agreeing with God, yes, 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 I love you, God. You're being irreverent. You're laying out prostate. You're submitting to God and not submitting to your old stinking thinking process and keeping the me, nice, open eye in the superior position. And let me point the way to make the decisions of good and evil. Hmm? Oh my goodness. Dumbass way. Label that. That's a dumbass. I'm not speaking the love of God. I'm not agreeing with God there. That wrecking balls are busting me up. Let God take and consume that old thing and turn it up on top. God will get rid of that other one drive it out for you as you agree, agree, agree with God. You green light emphatically in hot pursuit. You're in submission to the rightful king, God. That lightning bolt at the smallest zap comes back to a ball, a purified ball of pure gold of God's divine, God's nature, character, authority, his alma, his shame, hmm? his most amazing his exceeding great reward, the great I am, that self-existent one inside you, in your thinking, is coming to life. And it's growing, 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 freed from those breadcrumbs. And it'll come out, and it'll take and fill in all the spots of whatever level God wants. Don't do it on this outward, external thing, like the outward, the, um, uh, whole, um, outer court in a holy place. Hmm. That's external. Hmm. Don't stay a baby. Like a breadfoss, an unborn child, or a nepios, a simple-minded, immature, non-speaking, can't speak in the love of God. Not truly, it doesn't know it. Doesn't know how to speak. It's like a baby in the natural from like a zero to a two-year-old, they're not really able, to learn trying to learn how to speak, do everything, walk everything, huh? totally helpless, they're a baby, they're alive just the same, God's little lightning bolt is still on fire for them, but those things, none of them is like, sad, turning into purified balls, and then growing, one to two to four to eight, they're maturing, as we green light God emphatically. Put God in the superior position. Don't keep him buried in your earth and thinking and thinking your me eyes open eyes is the most important. Eat the right breadcrumbs. Eat the word of God, the thought processes of God. Agree with God emphatically in hot pursuit. Push that swing that you, as a little kid, swinging on the swing set. Push with the with the swing, with the flow of the spirit, hmm? and you swing right through the air, like through the the pneuma, the, the spirit of God, he's flowing, doing right with the flow of God, not being like that Jordan River, which is speaking of, the water's also 
complete speaking of the Word of God. And it's a flow of a river. And it's called like the descender. Not taking this left hand spin and descending you down into the depths of your own carnality, of your own poop thinking, because you're keeping the me mice open eye or undecided about God or any other stuff, or even saying, I only love you, God, and you're drunk on your own me myself resigned thing. Maybe trying to prostitute the gospel or any kind of stuff, manipulate. Because it's inside you. It's not outside you to look like, oh, I'm a pretty boy. You're taking your own poop. Whether you know it or not. And wiping it on your face. It mean you're smelly. You're disgusting. To God. So didn't we do all this stuff in your name? God. Did we cast out demons and devils? And... What did God say? Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Do you want to be like that, or do you want to eat the breadcrumbs of God? Hmm? At whatever level. Like he's got this outer court and holy place. That's out there to poop thinking. You're staying, a little kid. Come out of cell. Like in Hebrews chapter 6. It's saying, if God permits, you'll go on beyond these rudimentary elementary principles. you got to go through them. Germinate those seeds in each every area of your thinking processes. And as those get more purified in there, they'll influence other areas of your thinking. That grace, that charis, C-H-A-R-I-S, God's influence, that divine influence in your heart, in your mind. Hmm? And it's reflection out into your lifestyle, reflecting the image of God, the existence of God. Out to your lifestyle. It's always you think it's affecting. Hmm? However God wants. Just like in uh, radiation. Like I was a uh, radio, uh, RCT. Radiological control technician. Okay. Field team coordinator. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay. Now that radiation will destroy that fleshy thinking. All right. As that, if you find something that's radioactive, the closer you are to that, the higher that um, influence of that radiation is. You get a higher dose. Okay? It affects it, destroys more flesh. As it's going out farther away from it, I think it's the inverse square, the shorthand way of doing it. Okay? But it, it decreases, so you could, if you found something, you'd put it out there and put your boundary up out to where it was down below levels, and post it and write up all your junk and stuff, and deal, have them deal with it, okay? Someone up higher than you are, okay? That way other people wouldn't go in there and get a, a, a dose. That's just, on, that's on radioactive stuff, reserve stuff, contamination, that's not the same thing. Okay, now, the, uh, in your mind, this whatever level of those little balls that God is uh, increasing back, like this zap, this little tree, this lightning bolt, is you're green with it, and it's coming back to life. Zap, his influence, that charis, that grace inside of you, zap, that thing is extremely radioactive to your fleshly way of thinking. It gets its light. It's lightning, really. That word you translate as lightning, it is lightning. Darkness, ignorance of God can't exist in that. See? And as it's increasing, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, it's growing brighter and brighter and brighter and becoming more and more radioactive and it's God's packing it down in His way. So, man, it's, you're going up a spiral and staircase. You're eating, partaking of these breadcrumbs. It's taking you up that spiral and staircase. And this little bit of radioactivity inside that, that thought process, is affecting now other areas in your thinking. So it's not just isolated there, but it's like going out. The farther it gets away from that, the more dark it is. It's not affecting that. 
but right there in that, and then just going out. It's, it's decreasing as it's getting flushed, but as this thing is growing up, you're maturing in this. It's going from one to two to four to eight. That as the radioactivity grows higher, like a higher dosage, that area that's been influence there, like you'd have to put up your boundary, it would be having to move out. Move that thing out farther, it's growing bigger, bigger, bigger. God is increasing. In other words, God's influence, His grace is increasing in your heart, in your mind. As you green light, green light, green light. In the three days, three ages of your life. So whenever you're in the fourth phase, Mm -hmm. That harvest is reaping it. Oh my goodness. God's giving the increase, not any person. You're just green lighting, green lighting. God is the one you're going to. God's got to give the increase. You don't give it yourself. Huh? All right, he's the one that's laboring, doing it. You're just grinning. You're going through some crap. But it's nothing compared. You can't give yourself any increase. Other than just green like God. Eat those breadcrumbs. Eat the word of God. Partake in it. Eat from the tree of life. And let that radioactivity of God's love vanquish. That lightning of God vanquish. That dark ignorance of God that's devoid. It's like a vacuum of space. It's devoid of God's love. Of God's attracting qualities. Because out in the darkness of that, it's cold and desolate. And the love of God is not attractive to that darkness. Like an attractive person or something, or something really appealing to you. It's not appealing at all to that darkness. It's enmity with God. And with God, being in that love of God... That dark thinking is not attractive to that love of God. Their enmity directly opposed, hostile one to another. The love of God, land of Goshen, being that, drawing near to God, or be out in this bullshit, black ass, donkey nature thinking. Oh, yucky poo, I'll be stuck in the mud, stuck in the poop, your own righteousness. You got the diarrhea thinking. Seeing, hearing, taste, touch, and smell with your own ego in the middle. That big eye, right? Huh? You go into God's love, that ego of God inside, where God's enlightening you, that Zoe life. Sad! You're in there, and God's increasing, one, two, four, eight, sixteen, and that's influencing other parts of your thinking. And then that is reflecting out. And other people's, their universe of a thinking process, from your universe of a thinking process, out through the word, through the actions, through all this, like, seeing, hearing, taste, touch, and smell, through the fivefold ministry, like, in you, from God speaking forth within you, shine forth, right? God shining forth from you. Huh? Like the apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, who teaches? Not actual, not actual positions. Not, this is God speaking. Huh? <clears throat> Alright. I want to send a couple notes this and I got a segment. Okay? <clears throat> now, let's, you know, I'll say the soul in here. That's that mixed up stuff inside of you. That's your red way of thinking. Your old Adamic way of thinking. Ain't God in there. So double mindedness. But that zeal of God. Being zealous for God and going into God, eating those breadcrumbs and letting him take you up there. Take you up to the spiral place. Come up to his way of thinking. Oh my goodness, it's wonderful. Okay? <coughs> the zeal of God has consumed me. It burns in my soul. A driving force that cannot be stopped, a fire that cannot be quenched. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. The zeal of God just has consumed me. 
too, and I love you too. Let's increase in God's love. Let's live in that land of Goshen and eat those breadcrumbs. Come spiraling up to God. Amen. I agree. Yes, sir. So be it. I sign on that contract. Always. Okay. <clears throat> that one was uh, God's Relationship Builder. Have a great day. Share, like these, comment. Let's get it out. Meditate on it. Go over these things. Think about it. Amen.